Hi, this is Kelly from Petaka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and today I wanted to pop on and give you a look at a boom card deck I've used all day with my elementary age students, and I found it so functional and it was so easy to target a variety of goals that I thought I would give you a little quick walkthrough so you can see if it's something that would be useful for you and your students. Um, so I am going to go over and share my screen and we will go ahead and take a look at the game together. So this game is called Teachers Love Coffee and it is a fun and silly game to practice describing skills. Now what makes it fun and silly is that the whole time you are actually feeding or your student is feeding coffee to the teacher of their choice. There's 10 different teachers to choose from and there's going to be 10 different descriptive categories. So it gives you just so many opportunities to work on descriptive skills or using adjectives to describe pictures. Now I've also built in some other features that allow you to uh, model sentences and work on expanding sentences with your students. So um, here are our 10 teachers right here. Now I tend to give my students the choice as to like who they want to work with or what they want to do and I feel like that really boosts the engagement because they're making the choice, right? So. For me today, it did not really matter what category we did. My goal was to work on describing, right? So they could choose whatever teacher they want. And actually, they had to describe the teacher to me in order to make the choice, right? Because I have the mouse control during this game. Um, now, you could designate ahead of time, you know what, I want to systematically go through uh, taste, speed, temperature, age, personality, maybe one a week. You could do it that way, and you can designate which teacher you're going to work with um, that session, and then maybe tell the student, okay, next week we're going to work with so-and-so. Um, so that's another way to do it as well. But let's go ahead and look at the first teacher who is working on um, adjectives related to taste. Here's the structure of every page. So we have up at the top, find the teacher's favorite. Give the teacher one coffee at a time and discover her favorite when you hear her say, mmm, okay, or mmm, mmm. So one of the nine coffees is gonna make the teacher make this noise, okay? And for my kindergartners through second graders, they found this hilarious. Um, when I used it with a group, I had one student who was super excited to get the coffee that made her say, mmm, mmm, that makes sense, right? Um, so the reason I have built this in is to keep your kids engaged and wanting to do all nine because they want to know which coffee is gonna make the teacher make that noise, okay? Now, when you move the coffee over, it has a disappearing effect, which is also really engaging for your students, especially your kindergartners, but it's going to reveal a hidden picture. So I'll move one over. Um, first of all, I'll show you how I move them over. So if I'm working with like um, kindergartners or first graders who really need to like, um, I need to keep their attention, right? I'm going to use a lot of physical movements to engage them. So what I do is I have them have their hands up, right? So they're copying me. I say hands up when it's their time to make the choice. And I say, okay, do you want top, middle, or bottom? And they're going to do that with me, right? Top, middle, or bottom. And they're going to say, oh, I want top. So now we're working on positional stuff too. When we're working with the younger kids, right? I'm not going to do that with the fourth or fifth grader. <laughs> um, but we'll say top. So once we're there, I'm going to say, okay, do you want um, the first one, second, or third? Or do you want the first, middle, or last? Okay, depending on what vocab we're working on. So they say, oh, they want the top one, the top first one. You can also do left and right, right? So let's say the top left one. So if it's a younger student and maybe we're working on using longer sentences, in order for me to move the coffee over, I'm going to have them tell me, um, you know, go over top left one, something like that. And then I'm going to have them lean forward and put their hand on their ear. And I'm going to say, oh, is this the one that's going to make her say, mm, let's see, what do you think, right? And we can work on some yes or no questions there too. What do you think? Is it going to be this one? And they say, yes. And I say, oh, I don't know. Let's put it in, go in. We drop it in. Was that the one? No, it wasn't that, you know, that wasn't the one. Okay. So now we look at the picture here. Now, if the picture is ever too small, simply just zoom in, right? So now it's nice and big. If it's not a problem, just leave it that same size. So over here on the right, we have a word box of nine different words. Some boxes will have more, but typically they have nine, okay? <clears throat> and these are descriptors related to taste, because that's our whole, our whole theme on this page. So I'm going to talk about, okay, we have a carrot. He's chewing it. What's it like when we chew a carrot? You can do that. And we can go through the words one at a time, or they can just tell you the word that they think, right? Um, if we're working at the word level and I just want them to give me a one word response, I want it to be the correct description of that picture, we could just say crunchy, keep it really easy. I can type it in this box. How do I spell crunchy? Oh, that's how I spell it, right? You can easily expand on that in that text box. Um, so that's why I put it there nice and big so that you can do a sentence or you can do a complex sentence if you want. Um, 
or you don't have to use it at all, okay? You could just use it by, we wanna click off all nine of these by the end of the game, okay? So then I'm gonna do it again, okay? Whose turn is it, whose turn is it, right? We're gonna have our hands up, top, middle, bottom, and go through that whole process again, okay? Now, this is the one that actually makes her make the noise. You can tell because the pumpkin's just a little bit larger, um, so you'll know which one it's gonna be, and she, she sounds like this. So she kind of sounds like a chipmunk, um, my students found that really funny. Um, so let's go to another teacher. Let's go to this male teacher here. He's working on age. So it's the same instructions again. Um, I'll let you know that I had a student, uh, a fourth grader today, who he went through six categories. He enjoyed this. We did it in a 30-minute session, and he wanted to do more of them, but we ran out of time. So um, hopefully your students will have that same response where they want to keep doing it over and over again. So on this one, we worked on, let's see, we worked on matching the descriptive words and then expanding the sentence and also um, working on just having coherent sentences. So when you pull something off, um, you know, this one, uh, what could this be? Let's go over and we can see together what could it be. Could it be modern or antique? No. Could it be young? Could be young. Could be adult. We're not sure. So you could use more than one word from this box to make the sentence um, or you can use just one it's totally up to you, right? Now with this student in particular, um, on one of the pages, I would uncover it and then I would quickly scan and see which word goes with it. Um, and I would say, okay, give me a sentence about this picture using the word young. Um, and then they had to come up with a sentence and I typed their exact sentence in the box and I let all the errors, everything that um, they said, I just wrote it down and then I highlighted the words. So like if, um, I'm trying to think of a sentence. So, uh, the boy is um, young, or let's just say like the boy uh, young. Okay, that was not the sentence, but let's say it's, that's what it was. So that's a little short phrase. I would just highlight the A like that, and I'd say, oh, we need to get rid of that, and then I'd have him tell me, get rid of it, we get rid of it, and then we replace it. The boy is young. Um, we can say the boy is younger than, um, let's see, do you think it's his or her? Let's say his. Do you think that's his? Uh, brother or sister, so you can offer the choices and build the sentence, and it benefits students so much to see you building it with them um, as a team. You'll notice they, they start doing it much more independently after you've done it with them a couple times, um, just like that. So this is the game, and I hope you enjoy it. I will leave a link in the comments below as to where you can find it, and um, yeah, just leave me a comment and let me know if this is something that would work with your students, and if you would like me to create something like this for older students. Okay, all right, have a great rest of your week. Bye, guys.